Hello. Well, updates for today. Wednesday, April 8th. Oh, I had a surprise job today. You know, I'm an interpreter. Oh, by the way, before we get going, go ahead, like, subscribe, and ring the bell uh, so you can get notified of all my musings uh, during these coronavirus days. Anyway, back to my story. So, you know, I'm basically pretty much unemployed. And I had mentioned this on Facebook and I mentioned some friends and one reached out to me. She said she might have some work for me as an interpreter or do voiceovers because I've done voiceovers before. Uh, there's several TV commercials and when you hear my voiceover in Spanish uh, in industrial films and training videos and stuff that I've done in the past. But that work is far and few between. But anyways, she had mentioned that uh, Nidia Garza, thank you, uh, that she might have some work for me. And today she contacted me for me to translate basically what was going to be the script for a training video and then record it and send the final to her. So yay, I got to work a little bit today because I had no other jobs for the week and she seemed to be happy. And uh, I got paid immediately, which was nice instead of having to wait 30 days like with most of my other jobs. So um, that was a nice surprise. Um, nothing much else to report. Um, I took my last antibiotic because, you know, I had oral surgery a week ago on Monday. Uh, I had a, a molar shattered and they had to remove it surgically. They couldn't just yank it out like it normally did. Uh, so I've been on this massive antibiotic for the last, hmm, since Monday of last week. And, you know, when I picked up the medication, the pharmacist said, by the way, one of the side effects is diarrhea. Yeah, the runs. So she said, eat yogurt. Well, you know, because it replenishes the bacteria in your gut. Well, I've been eating a lot of yogurt and it hasn't helped. Oh, my God. Um, normally, I'm someone, you probably don't need to know this, but I go maybe once or twice a day to the bathroom to do number two. But because it eliminated basically everything in my gut... Try like five or six times a day. And it is not like, you know, usually you know you need to go and you can hold it for a little bit. It's like when it happens, it's like, I gotta go. And because of it, I've used so much toilet paper. I had stocked up before this whole thing happened. I always buy lots of toilet paper. I'm always paranoid that I'm gonna be out of toilet paper. So I'm someone who tends to have extra rolls, like way too many rolls. And before this whole toilet paper shortage happened, I had actually bought about a week and a half earlier a bunch of toilet paper because I was running low. Well, I've gone through a lot of it the last eight days. So I'm actually now in the hunt for toilet paper. I still have some to last me for a few days. And hopefully now that I'm no longer on this medication, I won't be using so much. You probably do not need to know all this information about me. But there you go. I'm chronically my life experiences during this whole pandemic. Other than that, I walked the dog twice. Uh, bathed her. She gets bathed every day. But I gave her a really good bath today. Um, ate lunch, as I said, did a little bit of work, and here I am uh, deciding whether I need to go to the grocery store or if I can wait a few more days. I'm out of a few items, but I'm so paranoid every time I leave the house to go to a, a public place like that, that, you know, it's like, oh, because people are not wearing masks, they're not wearing gloves, for the most part. Some are, but most people are not still. And the grocery store, some of the odd times you kind of get trapped in an aisle, and I try to keep at least six feet distant from everybody, so it makes grocery shopping really tricky. So I guess I will eventually have to go, but you know what I mean? Like, uh, of course I'll be masked and gloved and all that. So other than that, not much news. I did watch the presidential conference just now and Trump wasn't there. Oh my God, it was Mike Pence leading it. And it was amazing. There was no contradictions. It was to the point. He seemed empathetic for all the people who have lost their lives or are sick, which is nice to hear coming from the administration. I'm not a big fan of Mike Pence, but at least he was informative and he seemed like he cared genuinely. So it was refreshing to hear. Um, in Dallas, uh, so for those of you that are not in Dallas, uh, we keep getting like 100 cases a day, but there hasn't been this big curve. And actually, today we only had like 47 cases reported. So it was a bit of a drop. Not necessarily mean that we flattened the curve, but we're not growing exponentially. It's kind of like the steady drumbeat. So it might be the effect of all this quarantine that we've been doing, because we did it here in Dallas before almost the rest of the country. Because our Clay Jenkins, our fabulous county commissioner, he was on the ball. 
Um, but I just realized it's been over 30 days now that I've been doing this quarantining or self-isolation. And as I said, it's still hard some days, but I'm getting more and more accustomed to it. Um, and I guess I'm so accustomed now to the, doing these extra precautions when I step out the door that I don't even think about it anymore. I just glove up, mask up, and out I go whenever at the few moments I have to step out. So it's becoming more routine. It's interesting how us humans can just acclimate to a new reality. Anyway, hope all of you are doing well and safe. As I say, yeah, hit the bell, subscribe. Let's see if we can make something happen with this crazy channel of mine now that I'm doing these daily vlogs. So have a great day. Bye.